Okay, so today we're working on Lesson 12, Birthday Attendance. You can see that it's in your textbook on page number 55. So we're just going to go ahead and open that. This one's a real fast and easy one. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these over. Sometimes, as I've said, it works better to start here and work your way over than to go the other direction. Copy, Control, C. Let's go back to our document here now. And I'm just going to go ahead and Control, V. Again, i got to get rid of this line, row one. It just sometimes shows up. So if it does, just delete it like that. I'm going to move this out of the way because you can probably see it. Okay, so let's take a look at what the instructions are telling us to do. Okay, the fir first thing we're going to do is it says uh, key in the data as shown. You've got that keyed in for you. We're going to click on cell alpha 6, and I'm just going to go to the autofill button right here. I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button down and pull down to the center of alpha 11. So now I've put in the months. I'm going to do the same thing with weeks here. I'm going to click in the center of this cell Bravo 5. I'm going to go to the autofill button, and I'm simply going to fill all the way over to Echo 5. Okay, so we've put in the, the weeks and the months already. So we've got quite a bit done. Okay, what does it tell us to do next? It tells us to select cell alpha 1 and format the bold 20 points. So click there in alpha 1, alpha 1. Click on bold. 20 is not an option, so I'm just going to key that in. 20, enter, good. Okay, what does it tell me to do next? It tells me to select cell alpha 2 and format to 16 points. So I'm going to come back over here. 16 is not an option, 16, good. Okay, cell alpha 3, what do they want me to do here? And so you can see I'm on step 6. The first thing they want me to do is go to the formula bar right here, and they want me to go ahead and change that to the current year, 22. Good. The next thing they want me to do while I've got this selected is uh, format to 14 point. 14 is actually an option here. Okay, so we've now finished through step 6. We're now on step seven. We're going to go ahead and select from alpha one to, I'm just double checking, golf one, merge cells, and we're going to go ahead and center a line. The next one steps here, step number eight is having us do the same on the next two rows. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do that. Alpha two to golf two. Merge, center a line. Alpha 3 to golf 3, merge, center a line. You've probably tried merging and centering uh, multiple lines at once, and you've probably noticed that you can't merge in, you can only merge in one direction, okay? Either horizontal or vertical. You can't do both at the same time. Okay, that took us through, repeat for steps, select row 5 and format to all to bold, write a line, and use text wrap. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click directly on the letter 5, number 5, bold, write aligned, and then I'm going to come over here and use text wrap, format, wrapping, wrap. Okay. Now, the first time I did this, I will tell you that I wound up with uh, like in like that. So do make sure that the that the words are put together. If not, you may have to slightly adjust these column widths here. Okay, just so you are aware. Okay, now we're so we've here's a place where we're slightly deviating from the book. We're just going to go ahead and select from here from B, holding the shift key down to E. And then I'm going to right-click on one of these letters. I don't care which one. I'm going to resize columns B through E. Fit to data. Okay, good. So that's done. The only thing left is to manually adjust column A. I want these in there. So I'm going to come here between the A and the B. I'm just going to move this over until that line is past the word attendance. Okay. Okay, so at this point, we have a good chunk of our formatting done. So the first thing we're going to do here is select cell, um, let's see, or put the call in cell F6. Yep, just want to make sure it's telling us what we're doing it right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in equal sign. Now, you see right here that it said equal sum B6 through E6, and that's actually what we want. So if that did not appear, so you can just go ahead and press tab. 
and there it is. And then you can use the autofill and fill down. Okay. Now I'm going to undo that for a moment. Okay. If when you typed in an equal sign, it didn't give you this and these cells right here inside of that little brown box. Okay. Like you say, at this point, you could we could just press tab, but I'm talking to people who this didn't work up here for when we did this. So equals sum, S-U-M. Now what I'm going to do, and again, it's telling us that, but what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to move my cursor into the center of cell B6, press and hold the left mouse button down, and drag over to E6 and hit enter. And, oh, I know what I did wrong. Okay, ignore that. Sum, open parenthesis. So equal sum, open parenthesis, and now I'm just going to come over here to cell B6, press and hold the left mouse button down and drag over and hit enter, okay, and suggest an autofill. So I will be going through what the formulas are if that auto doesn't work for you. So here, average equals, now we don't want this one, so don't accept this formula, So because this is simply adding all of this together. So we want to go equals average, A-V-E-R-A-G-E, -E, spelling does matter, open parenthesis. Now again, I'm just going to come over here to B6, press and hold the left mouse button down to E6, just like that, enter, and yes, we want to accept the autofill. Okay. Now, the instructions do tell us they want no decimal places, so I'm going to click directly on the G, and I'm going to get rid of those decimal places right there, okay? Because we have no fractional people. Now I'm going to come, come down here. Yeah, we are almost done. I'm, okay, weekly average equals, and it's guessing that we want average B6 colon B11. If that's what you have, just go ahead and press tab, okay? Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to autofill that just over to E. Okay. Highest monthly attendance equals. Now we're using a new command here and you see that equals max. So I will type it in, but you can see the, all you probably need to do is press tab equals MAX open parenthesis. And I'll go ahead and select these cells right here. What we want to know is which is the highest. Now, on something this small, it's easy to look at it and say, well, that's obvious. That one's the highest. But as your spreadsheets get bigger, this does become a very useful tool. And I'm going to go ahead and press tab this time. Enter would have done the exact same thing. I'm going to go to the autofill button and fill over to the side. I'm going to do the same thing with lowest monthly attendance equals and here min m-i-n open parenthesis again you could have just hit tab to select that that option and enter or tab they both do the same thing and that's why i press tab the last time just want to make sure that you understand that enter or tab finishes the formula okay and i'm going to go ahead and fill that over and the only thing left is again they want these formatted with no decimal places and there we go so the decimal places are gone and this was it you're done and there's there are no really big differences between this and excel on this assignment min max average sum all of those work the same way you put an equals before the word and then open parenthesis and you put in the cell numbers okay that was it thank you